Magandang umaga sa inyong lahat. That means good morning to each and every one of you. I like to share my life about the Philippines and when I came to America. My name is Gloria Manganon. When I first came to America, I was six years old. I was born in Manila, Philippines, and I was six, came to America, and when I came to America, I was really, really scared and just, just did not to speak English. So when I went to school, uh, when I went to school, I was, I was crying and didn't know what to do because I was, you know, didn't know anybody. And I lost my watch. I didn't know how to speak English, so I point like this. I said I lost my watch. Then they understood. So my parents, when we came to America, my mother, we have eight kids in the family, five brothers and two sisters. My mother was a housewife, and my father was uh, in the Air Force, but he got out and became a waiter and... <clears throat> He worked in Pebble Beach. So when, we, when I got to America, all I can say is I didn't know where I was. Growing up in the Philippines, coming here, it was difficult. So after that, after that, um, my parents said, it's going to be OK. You're going to school. So when I went to school, I was a crybaby. So when I was a crybaby, at that time, we have, what, 35 cents lunch money? Then my teacher always get my money from my pocket, and I didn't understand why she was taking my money. And it was actually for lunch money. And then they always call my parents, and they always say, Gloria is crying because they took her money but I did not know. But other than that, uh, to tell you about the Philippines, when I was born in the Philippines, we live in Manila, and my grandfather was an uh, engineer. Before we came here, he, um, he was an engineer building bridges. Then somebody threw a banana leaves on the floor. He stepped on it, and then he fell and hit his head. So he passed away. So after that, I, I, it was amazing because growing up in America, I still know how to speak four different languages. Because I have so many friends that has different dialects from Baguio City, from Manila, in the province. Where I really came from, I came from Porak, Pampanga. If you're, if you're aware of the Mount Panatubo, that's where we live maybe about maybe two or three miles away from it. So when we got here in America, you know, life then was hard. My dad was the only one who was working, supporting all of us. So when we grew up, you know, we all help each other. You know, being a waiter, that was the main place to work. That was in Monterey, California. Then when my father uh, stop working, he, he, he has to support us. He keeps working and working. Then he worked for maintenance in Pebble Beach. After Pebble Beach, when he um, worked there, all of a sudden, he passed away at the age of 77. But we, we still you know, help out the family and everything. 